Do all of your carpets look like this? Let's see how we can fix that. Get rid of the old particle system and add a new one and set it to here, adjust the length. The number depends on the size of the rug, but try to keep it low. Switch from object mode to particle edit and with the comb brush adjust the hair. Here are a few tips. Change the selection mode from path to just tips. Often change the shape of the brush and keep in mind grooving is view dependent. So finding the right view sometimes makes your life a whole lot easier. If you overdo any hairs, just use the puffing brush to bring some volume back. To preview your final hairs, go to children, enable interpolated and crank up the display and render amounts. To bring some structure to the hair, play with the clump and to add a bit of variation, we can play with the roughness. Depending on the fur you're creating, curl can be very helpful too. I can't really give you a set of settings because they will depend on the model you're making. Time for the material. Replace the standard cycles material with a principled hair BSDF and make sure to set it to direct coloring. We can use a texture for the color, but for this I'll stick with a simple RGB value. Here is a little trick. Add a curves info node and plug the intercept into a gradient ramp. This will give us a gradient starting from the root of each hair that we can control with the ramp. If we multiply that on top of the hair color, we can get the tips of the hair to be much brighter than the roots. We can do the same using the random output to give a different value for every hair. To finish, let's set the correct roughness. Lower values will make the hair shiny, while higher will make them more diffused. Around 0.4 looks good for this. If you like this model, you can find it in Blender Kit. It's linked in the video description. Subscribe for more tutorials and once again, thank you for watching.